We're here with the new head basketball coach at IPFW, Tony Jassik. And Coach, you've been on the assistant side here at IPFW. What's it like now that you take the reins of this Mastodon program, and what's your vision for the continued success of this program? Well, it's obviously an exciting time for, uh, for me and my family. Um, you know, Dane, Dane has been great to me. Uh, obviously, he's the reason why we're here, and, and the success that we've had and the times that we've shared uh, over the last six years have been great. Wouldn't, wouldn't change it for the world. Uh, I feel very fortunate in that I'm taking over a, uh, a team that's got some good senior leadership. We've got some older guys who have been through some things because, uh, you know, it's not going to be uh, smooth sailing. There's going to be times where, uh, you know, I need to rely on them just like they'll rely on me. and. and uh, we're going to go through this thing together. So, uh, very excited to, to be here and, and excited about what uh, not just next season, but the future holds. What was the process like for you? Because um, you know there have been all the rumors. Uh, Dane interviewed at different places, and uh, you know as the top assistant, you had to be wondering: Is my opportunity going to come? What's going to happen? What was the last week or so like for you, knowing that Dane was going to move on and that this position was going to be open, one that you really wanted to be a part of? I think that's the biggest thing: is, is you know going into the, the last few years, there, there's been opportunities elsewhere. Um, and, and I just really felt like not only did, did I want this, uh, this position here at IPFW, but, but I also, my wife uh, and my family are really kind of rooted here in Fort Wayne. Um, but the last week has been wild. It, uh, it really has with the media uh, swirling, uh, the rumors about Coach leaving. Uh, we kind of became accustomed to the, to the rumors over the last two or three years with our success and, and his name uh, popping up all over the place. But when it got serious and we felt like there was a chance uh, that, that he may move, uh, Chancellor Wartell and, and Tommy Bell were nothing but professional and, and visit with me about kind of their vision and, and asking me uh, where I felt like I fit in. Seeing you out at high school games throughout the last couple of years that I've been here, um, I know you know the recruits and I know you know this roster better than anybody. How does that help you transition into the head coaching position knowing you know, you've seen these guys from high school, from JUCO, from wherever, and then here at IPFW, you know these guys back and forth? Well, I think that the biggest thing is it's, it's kind of comfortable uh, for everybody because at the end of the day, you know, our style of play is going to change a little bit next year. Not solely because I'm the head coach, uh, but the way we built our roster, we're going to play a little bit different uh, just because of our roster. But I think everybody kind of has, uh, in terms of with my personality and, and the way we kind of get after it on the floor, it's going to be a pretty smooth transition. There's not going to be that, uh, you know, period of time where you have to feel out, okay, what do we have? You know, what can Trey McCorkle do? What can, you know, Jeremy Mixon do? Uh, or some of the new recruits wondering, do I fit in? Uh, we're going we're to keep this thing going, and, and there's a, a familiarity with, uh, with both myself uh, and our players kind of back and forth. Now, there have been a couple times where you've run the ship a little bit here at IVFW. What do you take away from that experience, and what is your personality as a head coach? Is now you kind of assert yourself as the voice over everything that is IPFW basketball. You know, I think uh, I was. Dane, uh, Dane had a baby uh, when we played North Dakota, and uh, fortunately our guys played really well. Nick Daniels made a bunch of shots. Um, but, but my personality and Dane's, I was talking to a couple of our guys today, at the end of the day, uh, our personalities are a little bit different. Now, obviously, he's very fiery, uh, very emotional, wears his, his, his emotions on his sleeve, uh, which, which, which made him good as a player uh, as well as a coach. Uh, I'm not quite as, as outwardly emotional, uh, but I can tell you this, the, the both of us will, uh, will fight you tooth and nail to win. Um, the, the competitive desire. Uh, for, for us to, to see our guys succeed uh, is something that we shared and uh, you know I look forward to getting out there. I wish we could start tomorrow uh, but we've got a few months before we can actually get out there and, uh, and get after a little bit. Final question, what are you most looking forward to about leading this Mastodon program having seen it close up for as long as you have? Just, just making sure that we get it to where we want it to go. Uh, you know I felt like after six years with, with all the former players and, and, and current guys I would have really hated to have somebody come in here and kind of start over uh, or, or not been able to see this thing through. Uh, I think we've got some goals that we can still reach and uh, you know I'm really excited to, uh, to see these guys have success and, and get this program in university where we all want it to. All right, Tony Jasek, the new head coach at IPFW.